is brought to you by Snickers. Snickers satisfies. And there it is. 60 minutes has run off at long last, and this game is finally over. A blowout from the start. Things are clicking right now, and this team has to feel invincible without a loss on the year. Oh, you know they do. Just to come into this game, today's game, the other team wants to put that first loss on them so bad, not able to do it because they got outplayed. That's why the team is undefeated. Ah, uh, quarterback's best friend, a tight end who's right in front of him. You know, they're close to the quarterback, so it just stands to reason. If they're open, throw it to him. Today's play of the game is a tight end who shows talent and a pair of nice hands. Saving the team. To Tom Terrific making it an icon. To do it Bill's way. These are the Patriots. It's about elevation in the ATL. It's the flight of Tony G. The Dirty Bird. And Dion high step into pay dirt to rise up to the challenge. These are the battle. The Georgia Dome is the site for this week four matchup between the New England Patriots and the Atlanta Falcons. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims. Just prior to kickoff for this primetime extravaganza, and this adds another whole layer 
of excitement when you have this game under the lights. Yeah, it makes it more exciting for the fans. It builds up their enthusiasm because they're out there uh, tailgating all day, getting ready for the game, but also for the players. They lay around no matter what you do during the day. All you can think about is the game. How's it going to work out for us? So I think we're going to see a lot of excitement because of that. Smart play here, just take a knee. Taking the field for the Patriots. Three-time Super Bowl winning quarterback, Tom Brady. Tom Brady, been good for so long now, year after year, just puts up unbelievable numbers. First down coming up, tight end in motion. They're gonna get him this time. What a good job on the defense. You get in there, you get pressure, and you sack the quarterback here earlier in the game. That'll give you some hope and some enthusiasm. He'll fire it out to the left. Got a flag down here. Trying to beat him along, and the defenseman tried to catch up, reached in before the ball arrived, and that is, in fact, pass interference. Yeah, that's an easy call. You know, just think about this. We're down. You're running the race, and somebody during the middle of the race reaches his arm out and hits you. Of course, it's going to slow you down. That's why it's pass interference. Oh, there's nothing worse early in a football game to get sacked by the defense if you're a quarterback. Now you sit there and go, is this going to happen all day long? Does it change the process how you play? Do you get rid of the football quicker? A lot of things go through a quarterback's mind. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. And now that we've got a moment, let's take a look at the Patriots' offense. This is an efficient group. Last week, turning the football over just once. Third down. They didn't fare too well in these situations last week. Third and 16. The tackle is made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. He's going to try his luck here. Brought down at the 41-yard line. Davis is going to be the one leading this offense today. Last week, he accounted for over 200 yards passing. They face first down. Takes it from the strong eye. It's Mayo who brings him down. Here's our look at the Falcons' offense. Last week, they never turned the football over once. And the starting lineups have been brought to you by Papa John's, where you always get better ingredients, better pizza. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Well, that's just a good old physical run by the offense there, and it's good for a few yards and gets him another first down. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. And he's brought to the ground. Jackson's in the backfield, single back set. He gets the toss, bringing the play to an end. Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today. Yes, we know they can throw it, but what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football too. White lined up in the slot. On first down, it's back to the ground game. And with that, let's look at the Patriots defense. They have to put some pressure on the quarterback this week as last week they did not have a single sack. Nickel formation here for the defense. Second down and five. Jackson's handed the football. Going to be a tackle for a loss. A terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive. Crowd the line of scrimmage. And you just you just played right into their hands and they got the tackle for the loss. In on the stop. When you play man-to-man -man against this receiver, you're going to have a tough time. Quarterback's a good thrower, 
really hard for a defensive back to stay with him. Now first and ten. The give. Advances it out to about the nine. They've come out in the dime package. And the second quarter is underway with has it. Touchdown. <laughs> Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can, who can just fire that football into some tight spots. And then it helps you when your receiver has got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough catch. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. They'll take it at the 20. Ridley lined up in the backfield. Tight ends in motion here. First and 10. Screen pass. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. Terrible job by the offensive line. Your quarterback needs more time than that. Uh, another incompletion. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. It's Ridley. They break through. Tackle him behind the line. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third and long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. And they sack the quarterback. And that's a quick series of three and out. There's a couple ways to get to the quarterback, run over the tackle, or run around him. It doesn't matter as long as you get the sack. And he's got four yards. You could put anybody in the football team back there and do what that punt returner did that time. That was a terrible job. Offense lines up here. Jackson. Gain of 17. After that long run, that running back deserves a break. Go over to the sideline, let a few guys patch you on the rear end and tell you how good you are and then get a little oxygen and get back in the game. What a run. Two-minute warning. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good that defense didn't even see that he still had the football and he throws it down there for a nice completion. And Gonzalez is a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Catch is made. It's Mayo in on the tackle. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throw the short pass, even though it doesn't result in a first down. Now on third and short, all of your passes are in play instead of just the third long where you only have like three or four plays you can go to. Nice job by the quarterback that time. Got outside the pocket, got away from the pressure, uh, gave himself time even though the pass is incomplete. Good job of avoiding the sack. The Patriots will come out in the dime, trying to work that left side. Touchdown, Atlanta. Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. The Patriots prepared to return the kick. He'll have to accept the touchback. They come to the line, and it's first down. We're about midway through the second, and here's the next snap. And the quarterback is taken down. The Falcons are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. And Amendola, a receiver in the slot. Working that left side, and that pass is going out of bounds, incomplete. 
It's a two tight end formation. Third and 17, and it's Ridley. Up the middle. That's a good tackle, and that's a quick three and out. They're in punting formation. Fair catch signal. And Gonzalez is in the slot receiver role for this upcoming snap. First and 10. Running away from the pressure. White's going to pull in the bullet pass. First down on the way. Play action. Airing it out. And they can't connect. Yeah, this defender probably could block a lot of shots in basketball games, too. That's a, just a wonderful job. Good timing, and he swats the football away for the incompletion. Second and ten. Eyeing that left side. Gonzalez was the intended target, but the pass falls incomplete. Well, that pass is incomplete, Jim, but that's just a terrible job by the quarterback. When they're running the slant route, just throw it right at the stump. Davis back in shotgun formation. Julio Jones with the grab. Terrible job by the quarterback. It's third down. You throw it short of the markers. Well, you get a completion. That's great. Uh, you're really accurate. But there were guys open down the field. Take a chance and go for it. And Gonzalez is moved from the tight end position to the slot. Drop back, shotgun formation. Secures it with two hands. Falcon, call a timeout here. They have zero timeouts remaining. That timeout might be very useful for the offense. They're now ready to go. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Loads it up, it's going deep, and it's incomplete. Anytime you get a chance as a defender in your own end zone to knock it down, that's what you do. Nice play by the defensive guy. The Patriots' defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Well, in the NFL, no lead is ever safe. So when you got the lead, you push it on in there, score another touchdown, and keep putting the pressure on your opponent. He made it. The Patriots, I'm sure, wanted to avoid giving up points on that drive just before the half. But now they'll have even a bigger hole to dig themselves out of in this one. The scores, 21 to 0. One more snap in halftime. First and 10. So that's going to do it for the first half. Falcons are up in this one. Let's check in on the sidelines. Danielle Bellini is there. I got a chance to speak with Coach Masters at halftime. His team is on the wrong side of the scoreboard so far today. He said, we haven't played great football today. It's as simple as that. This is the NFL, and if you want to win, you need to play great. Average just doesn't cut it. Guys, let's see if they can be great here in the second half. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. The Falcons in kick return formation. And he's 
tackle right at the 30-yard line after that return. Offense lines up here. Davis going to take it from the gun, trying to make something happen. Oh, almost caught. When you see this cover two defense as a quarterback, you got to know where to throw the football. That time, he did not make a good decision. You got to throw it sometimes deep down the middle. The safeties are not there. They're outside. He did not take advantage of that coverage that time. Good job by the safety diagnosing the run, getting up outside and making the tackle for a short game. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. And Davis has got it in the gun. Down the field. Almost intercepted that time. There's only so many chances to get big plays in the NFL. And as a quarterback, when you miss one, that hurts. And of course, watching it the next day with all your teammates hurts worse. Offense ready for the snap. Quarterback flips it to the running back. Going to lose yards here. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. And he's forced to the ground. Well, if your offensive line's not good enough just to stop the pass rush, then you got to help him out. How do you do that? Well, you keep the tight end in, let him be an extra blocker, and you tell your running backs to help out, too, blocking some of these defensive linemen. And they bring down the quarterback, and it's a three and out for the offense. What a job gets in there for the second straight play, gets the sack. He is just so big, fast, and strong, hard to block this guy one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to challenge the punt coverage. The offense lined up in the full house. Draw play here. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Jackson's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Davis is going to take the snap from the shotgun, looking to the right side and throwing. You play this uh, cover three defense. Just kind of sit back there and try not to give up a big play. That is great. The problem is you give up all these short plays. How about that throw? by the quarterback on that slant pattern at time. First down here. First down, throwing again. He'll fire it out to the left. Ride in the promised land. Touchdown. Well, you got a lead to drive down the field to score a touchdown. Now we're going to find out if the other team can stay patient or will they panic. It's good. The Falcons now about to kick off as the offense just took advantage of a very poor punt, took the short field to their advantage, and was able to put points on the board. He'll take a knee in the end zone. On first down. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Well, there's not much to say about that play, Jim. It was a completion by the quarterback, and it picked up a couple yards. Second down coming up. Looks to his left. Ball is caught. Well, that's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts him in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. Offense still looking for a first after that completion on second down. Looking 
for an open receiver on the right. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. First down here after the completion. We are back for the start of the fourth quarter. The flag is out as the play continues. And he's taken down. Holding offense. The penalty is the decline. That last play will hold up. Here we have second down. Throws to the right, reaches out and grabs it. Nice job by the quarterback. Nobody open down the field. He throws it short. It does not get a first down, but it sure makes third down a lot easier. Ridley lined up in the backfield. Third and 13. He makes the catch. A tackle that had to be made. The battle set up for it now. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. He's going to try and return this one. Gain of eight. <laughs> There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. Gives it to Steven Jackson. That brings the play to an end. Well, the defensive coach is going to be upset after this play. After that long run, terrible angles, and really just a lack of hustle by the defense gives up the long run. Just two minutes left in this one now. Back in a moment. They're able to move the chains after that last run. On the run, looking long to Julio Jones, but it falls incomplete. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. The Patriots come out in the nickel. Second down and 10. He'll go ground. He'll go left. Number 39, the ball carrier. Let's round. Let's round. Let's round. Double tight end formation. Play fake here. In trouble now. Challenging the defenders to the right side, and they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by them. First and 10, play action fake. Looking to throw. Throws the pass right where it had to be. Well, he had all day long to throw the football that time. That's why he had success throwing the football down the field. I'll tell you what, this defense, they need to start blitzing this quarterback. They're going back up top. And they sack the quarterback. What a play. Snickers is the proud sponsor of this satisfying defensive replay. When hunger hits, Snickers satisfies. Play action fake. The throw to the left. Reaches out and snatches it. This next play will be run from inside the 20. And a week ago, they were sensational inside the red zone. Good job by the linebacker, just watching the quarterback read his eyes. He made the move at the right time, and he knocked the pass down. He converts here on the field goal try. Well, Jim, I know if you were coach, you'd probably be happy settling for the field goal, but not me. I want touchdowns. Take some more chances and get it done. He'll kneel here. No reason to try his luck on the return. So the offense off the touchback will begin at the 20. 
They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Getting sacked. The Patriots are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. 